welcome back tankers of Blitz Universe to Load Aim Fire channel. It's been very exciting in the world of tanks Blitz. We've had the EU finals of the Twister Cup where I had the chance to comment upon the live gameplay. Uh, in six matches, 60% versus Legion, the Mates versus Phoenix, and then in the finals, Phoenix versus Legion. Legion won. They are off to New York City. Thanks to uh, Slava Unkindest. Check out his channel, there will be a link below in the description. Um, he's from Clan Phoenix. Uh, thanks again for having me on the stream, me rambling about on World of Tanks Blitz. Um, and hopefully there will be more tournaments by Wargaming. We will hopefully have the chance to comment upon those tournaments as well, but that remains to be seen. All that said, uh, we are up to 1800 subscribers, plus at the moment 1830 I think. We are working our way on the left flank over here in the Arc Panther, a tier 7 German tank destroyer. And this is the fourth one, uh, the fourth installment in the Talk Through Tactics series. Um, this has been well received, like with the other uh, videos. Um, we are going over this ridge, trying to engage the Tiger 2. But as we engage him, you can see it over here. Uh, we bounce one, he bounces one of our top actually. And let's take a look at this first. These are the positions as known at the moment. I'd like to go down in here into this ridge because I get cover from the Tiger, cover from all the other tanks that are spotted. Um, and our T-44, he will go straight towards the red spawn and the other Yark Panther, he will go to the sniping position. There's the bounce on the top of our tank. Very lucky, no damage done. And we are trying to engage the uh, Tiger. No, not available. T-44 then maybe, not available. And these shots don't go in the T-44 either, so let's take a look again at the situation. Our team has moved forward, the T-44 has gone completely into the red spawn. Uh, the RU has pushed over and the T-44, he will be hammered by three red tank destroyers. Poor play on his part and we are going to lose him quickly. In the meantime, the KV-4 and the R3 will push along through the town, so that means the position that would be most useful for me, for me would probably be over here. The Odiarch Panther is still camping at the back, uh, one of the sniper positions near Osborn, and the Tiger P, he seems to be AFK, unfortunately. There's a Type 62 over there, another speculating shot in, um, doesn't go anywhere, unfortunately. Um, no shots available, so back to the 62, we can shoot one into him and track him in place. We um, signal our targets, we can shoot one and track him into place. We are running adrenaline, we can shoot another one and put him into place and our IS-3 will probably finish off, but he doesn't, so I have to do the job myself and here we go, 2-0, 44 in the meantime, our 44, th there's his skill, he's down now, shot by the SU-152 and well, there's an ISU of the 80-15 in the SU, what did you expect, there was no way you would probably survive. I can put one shot into the ISU-152, but I get shot by this 44 over here. I'm trying to back down and hopefully bounce a shot on the front plate, but no such luck. So let's take a look at what's happening now. The Type 62 and the Tiger 2 have gone down, not the SU-152. He is still alive, even though there are um, there's a death mark over there. T-44 is down, and at the back the Tiger P has gone down. That also gave us some information, because two of the... Russian tank destroyers have flanked into the city. We have uh, T-43 rushing all the way in all along the flank. He is arresting our Yark Panther now at the back. The T-44 is hurled down. KV-4 is moving into the town. IS-3 is moving all along together with the RU on that flank and I'm positioned over here. So what does this mean? We have a pair of three tanks over here. T-44, T-43 and Yark Panther. We have a big bundle of tanks over here, um, who have shots at each other. And as you can see, we have a numerical advantage over here. It's five tanks from us, four tanks from us versus three of them. On the other side, it would be two on one. I would, might be able to cross, uh, to go across town. Um, but my side would be wide open to that hold on T-44, yep, and he shoots one into the KV-4. So that was a wise decision not to move. I'm resetting the camo behind the building. And let's see if we have some shots available on this one on the SU-152. Yes, we slingshot one into the back of his engine deck. Very, very fortunate. 
we do manage to reload and we are not spotted because of uh, Binox and Camo and we are reloaded just in time for us to finish him off and this is a wise move especially in hindsight because we are staying behind the building the T44 somewhere in the desert it's four on two now we have counted about up to ten and we can move now Yark Pentagon thanks to the red T43 AT15 is attacked by the KV4 it's going to be four on four now because the RU is down and T43 could shoot him this is a snapshot on a 44 that doesn't go in it's five on four now i'm keeping an eye on the radar there's a t43 on my right side i'm using the rock for cover but the t43 yes he's still over there trying to shoot the t44 no checking on the position of t43 is not on the right there's still a dot there's still a dot oh, he's on my right he's far more on my right than i expected bounce moving forward slightly angling the tank and just in time do we get a bounce on the side armor side scraping of the building in front you don't have to be popped up into a building to side scrape as you can see over here um, and i'm sitting here because i have cover from my left from those rocks the t44 is still spotted t43 is spotted again quick snapshot again on the 44 um, and these are well the disadvantages of not having a turret because this one doesn't go in unfortunately t43 is taken out by the is3 and we do get the last kill shot on the 44 and yes the KV4 is Sol IS3 uh, is a Sol I have no idea what a Sol is but um, whatever floats his boat thanks again for watching uh, second class 2.4k damage decent game really is a uh, tier 7 tank destroyer in a tier 8 game I hope you find this series uh, valuable um, please leave some comments below also for requests on tanks maybe and I'll see you all on the next time cheers and happy tanking